Today, European airspace is very busy, highly fragmented, and used by many different users with different needs and objectives. To cope with the growing demand for air travel, the architecture of air traffic management has to be reformed. The Single European Sky Initiative, and especially César, Single European Sky Air Traffic Management Research, is building the ATM of the future for Europe. And this concerns all types of users. Most commercial traffic operations are on air routes from point A to point B. Repetitive operations are based on routine planning to increase economic efficiency. Military traffic has its own characteristics. Route and airspace use are tailored to the objectives of the missions. The planning cycle depends on the nature of the missions. The complexity of the missions, led by different profiles of flight, wide range of speed, and mandatory synchronization between large numbers of flights. Flexibility of planning and execution is paramount to cope with weather, resource availability, and operational requirements. This may even include changes of flight path, timing, and flight plan in flight. Full priority has to be given to air policing missions to satisfy national security and defense requirements, while sometimes, to ensure flight safety, segregated airspace is needed. Compared to standard airline operations, there is a large diversity of military missions. A part of the military missions cannot be planned a long time ahead. Some of them are even decided at the last minute, according to national defense and security requirements. Other missions can or must be planned ahead, such as missions involved in complex large-scale exercises. But still, they may require some changes to be made at the time of their execution. They can be linked to temporary segregated airspace reservations, which are fully coordinated with the other users. Depending on the nature of the missions, the planning cycle, the priority, the profile, and the airspace use are different. Air policing, air refueling, air transport, pilot training flights, unmanned aerial vehicles and systems, search and rescue flights, etc. Each have their specific requirements. For all those reasons, and because of the diversity and complexity of military missions, it's clear that mission effectiveness and flexibility are the main military performance requirements. Historically, to cope with this diverse demand, temporarily reserving large pieces of airspace for the military was considered the best option. While this solution brought good value for them, it resulted in inefficient management of airspace. The introduction of the flexible use of airspace concept, although not harmonized between states, did bring some efficiency in the use of the airspace. But now, the European sky needs more to cope with an ever-increasing demand, more capacity for civil aviation, and temporary larger segregated airspaces for the military due to new capabilities of modern aircraft. The César concept is based on trajectory management, collaboration and information sharing through new technologies. César will enable all users to better share the airspace. Flexible and efficient use of airspace will allow each and every user to perform their flights as efficiently as possible in order to achieve their respective objectives. Central to the César concept is the business trajectory. The business trajectory is a contract between all ATM players. It is an agreement whereby an airspace user agrees to fly a specific trajectory which the service providers agreed to facilitate. By adopting this trajectory-oriented approach, traffic can be more predictable and therefore airspace, airports and other assets can be better used. 
uncertainty is reduced to a minimum. Only unexpected events or operations will need to be treated by tactical decision. First, each airspace user develops and fine-tunes their business trajectories. This information is then shared so that all users' demands can be computed to calculate a network operations plan. At this stage, conflicts between user demands are resolved by collaboration between all those implied. At a predefined time before departure, these demands become consolidated in reference business trajectories. This is the agreement that binds all ATM players. The trajectories include time and space constraints, a 4D trajectory for the aircraft to follow. On the day of operation, all air traffic management players strive to have the aircraft fly its agreed trajectory. If for any reason a flight does not respect the constraints expressed in its agreed trajectory, an alert is issued and the problem is solved tactically through controller-pilot negotiation. When addressing the military, CISAR refers to mission trajectory rather than business trajectory. It is essentially the same and follows the same pattern, but a mission trajectory addresses different mission requirements and planning cycles. Some mission trajectories can be processed as business trajectories, but because some military missions are by nature more complex, the trajectory could differentiate a lot depending on the type of missions and their objectives. Flexibility is a fundamental requirement to allow unexpected changes in the course of a mission, for instance. In the end, whether a business trajectory or a mission trajectory, the purpose remains the same, to allow each user to fully fulfill their own objectives, while keeping the same level of safety, but improving efficiency and cost effectiveness. Evolving from airspace management to trajectory management, including airspace reservations process, will bring additional flexibility from which both military and civil operations will benefit. <laughs>